Okay, everybody, so this is what we have going on up here in the front. This is by our front entry gate, and we lost a really big, beautiful shade tree, and it's opened this area up quite a bit. So, <clears throat> we have decided that we're gonna put some limelight hydrangeas in this bed up here. So we're gonna start out with just 40. I mean, we obviously need um, probably 80 more to really fill this up nice and be really lush and full. But right now, it's not a good time of the year to plant. I've, I've had these for a little while and I've been babying them. And um, but anyway, I think it's a good time to go ahead and plant uh, really for two reasons. Limelight hydrangeas will have a beautiful burgundy, kind of a pink burgundy uh, bloom uh, in the fall. So it does give fall interest. And I thought that would be really pretty playing off of the uh, Japanese maple and the brick up here. It's really pretty. So anyway, uh, we're going to amend the soil up here and we are going to get these planted pretty soon, probably by the end of the day. So it's just too hot to let them sit out here. And you know, they do need a lot of water. So, um, lots of you have asked me what we're doing over here on the side, on the um, H.G. Mosley side. So, we had two people run into our fence just in the last, well, back in the fall, and it destroyed some plants and, you know, some trees and things like that, and the sprinkler system. So, we decided we were going to replace this, um, I guess it's like a cyclone fence, and put up a sturdier fence so we'll have brick columns and some iron work and different things like that that's what we've got going on here and when we get ready to plant we'll start the video back up and kind of let you guys see how we we plant our hydrangeas here um, this property has tons and tons of hydrangeas that we put in and we have the best of luck here and I just think it's got to do with the way we plant a lot of it so we take a lot of extra steps and um, we use Biotone, which I highly recommend. Anything that you plant, you should use Biotone. It's a slow release fertilizer and it's all organic. And we will amend the soil and you know, you, you have to do that. You can't just stick something in the ground and expect for it to, you know, look like the picture that comes with your plant unless you take those little extra steps and really put some love and care into it. Because you know, this is a big investment. You don't wanna just throw your money away. So anyway, that's why we do these extra steps. And it's unfortunate that a lot of landscapers do not do that because it costs them more money. And sometimes the homeowner doesn't want to um, have that extra expense, but it's really worth it. Um, get with your landscaper, before they plant, ask them, okay, what, how are you gonna plant this and what are you gonna use? You know, tell me what you're gonna use to amend the soil and tell me what you're gonna put in the hole before you put the plant in that is going to be a slow release, a good fertilizer. That's just really important because I have seen so many landscapers come in, quote, amend the soil and just pop their plants in. And then, you know, the homeowner's like, well, my plants all died. Well, there's a reason for that, you know. Be out there, ask questions until you're satisfied with how they're doing it. And that way um, you're not losing your money and you're not getting taken advantage of. So anyway, uh, that's what we've got going on up here by the fence and we will let you in on it when we get ready to plant and kind of show you what we do and keep you posted in the fall when they bloom really pretty and have those burgundy blooms and then in the spring. So they'll be well established before spring comes and we, we should have good luck with these. I'm sure hoping we do. So we have our holes dug and it's always a good idea when you dig your hole to dig it about the size of the pot. And that way, actually you should probably take your plant out of the pot. <laughs> and then when you get ready, you can fill your pot up with the dirt that you're taking out. And when your um, pot gets full, then you'll know that's deep enough for your plant. So anyway, most of the holes are dug and we are about to plant. So this is Holly Tone. It's for acid loving plants. It's by, um, it's Foma. It's Foma Organic. So <clears throat> this is a really great, um, fertilizer. Uh, it's a slow release. Um, it will just help the plant get established a lot faster. And then we're also going to use, and excuse my dirty bag, we're also going to use a little bit of biotone. That also is a great starter for plants. So anyway, we've got most of our hose dug and now we're going to start preparing them and we'll show you that step.